Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekokotash. Double honors once again go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who continue to give us this truth through the Holy Spirit. This is Naaman from DC Camp. And also salutations go out to the fellow Akim out there on the highways and byways across the four corners of the earth pushing this truth. All right, all sincerity and honesty, trying to wake up the remaining go for the left. All right. Uh, again, this is Nama with the DC camp. And this is from the Miami Herald. All right, and this is going to highlight something these devils like to do. Uh, and that's, of course, put Jake in the crosshairs. All right, they are expert at doing this. All right, and in ways that Jake doesn't even sometimes think about. But this has to do with the protests that have been going on for several years. Uh, pretty sure a few of you have heard about this. Uh, but it reads, it's a dangerous time for so-called African Americans. All right, Florida activists talk to United Nations panel. All right. Oh man. Here you see an activist, community activist being arrested in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. This is uh, back in January. He goes on to say two Florida activists went to Geneva, and that's Switzerland, to express their concerns about the state's anti-riot law to a United Nations panel that examines racial discrimination. See, they got this shit <laughs> set up to where, and this is something Jake doesn't understand, no matter how high you go and complaining about this devil. They're already there. They're always there. That's the way this thing is set up. All right. This is the way this devil has it in that any punishment that he determines that's necessary. In other words, he's policing himself. So it's like, we keep telling you why, and I keep bringing out Psalms 43 and 1, you know, this is an ungodly nation that you're calling out for justice to, and they're an unjust and deceitful people also. And it's just, the majority of our people just don't get that. Here you are marching up and down the street with signs, some of them misspelled, all right, calling out for justice to a person that's unjust. If I were some, I'm just going to use this as an example, if I were some alien and I came to this planet and I looked and I saw this, I'd be looking at you. I'd be looking at Jake and say, how stupid can you be? But hey, anyway, it says Ben Fraser uh, of the Northside Coalition of Jacksonville and Community Justice Project Attorney Denise Gardy recently voiced their issues with HB, or House Bill 1, also known as the Combating Public Disorder Act, to the UN's Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, because you know what's happening. See, Florida down there has uh, the Castle Doctrine, you know, for those of you that uh, uh, probably don't remember, it had to do with, uh, what's the young man? Uh, that started this all down there, uh, old Trayvon Martin, all right. Uh, Stand Your Ground Law is another name for it. Uh, they've got that down there. Uh, they're real big because that's a Republican state on uh, so-called white folks being able to defend themselves against people such as me and you, all right almost to the extent as to no matter the cost. But somehow it doesn't work that way, you know, for us. <laughs> wow, go figure. Anyway, so composed of human rights experts, the committee convenes every two years to evaluate international efforts to eradicate racial prejudice. Well, if that's the case, then the solution uh, which someone here tried to do, and that was get away 
do away with all the uh, you know white police officers but no <laughs> Frazier and Carter's uh, advocacy led to HB1 being brought up during Friday session what measures are being taken to guarantee the ex exercise of the right to freedom of peaceful assembly of individuals belonging to racial and ethnic minorities all right that was a question asked she then listed examples, referring to HB1 as a law aimed at restricting and criminalizing protest activities as a response to racial justice protests and Black Lives Matter. Now, let me say this. This is the first thing that has to be done away with because Jake is still on this bullshit. And this was set up, and this is how these Edomites, these so-called white people, hijack the movement. See, they learned their lesson from the 50s and 60s, the so-called civil rights era. And they knew they had to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They knew they had to intervene somehow. And they had to control that energy because they know that all the shit that they did was televised around the world, their mistreatment of us, all right? These things are being highlighted again and they don't want that. so. They do things in order to criminalize Jake, all right, and say, well, see, we had this law. When you bring it up before certain authorities, like they're trying to do, they'll say, well, look, we have this, these laws here, and these individuals, namely us, they broke these laws. Now well, they're suffering the consequences. What's wrong with that? This is how this devil works, all right? But you have to understand, George Soros, the fake Jew uh, philanthropist is behind all this why haven't you Jake realized this you've got the last count is it three or four I know one was done away with uh, lesbians heading that why what does that have to do with our people as a whole well that's the question and the answer is they're trying to do everything in order to disrupt and do away with the Jake family structure it only weakens and hurts our people because we're always been on shaky ground to begin with alright and then that charter they had, one of the um, objectives in it was to do away with the so-called nuclear family, which consists of the father, all right, the head of, he head of household, normally, all right, and then you have the mother and you have the children. Well, if you look at, I remember there was a infamous Target advertisement uh, a couple of years ago they got in trouble over and it showed all other ethnicities with uh, mother and father and children and then you get down at the bottom and then you have just a black woman with the children now what are they saying here and what have they been doing and that's right we have been the object of that the objective of that all right it says Garty Garty and Frazier took the moment as it went wait a minute I'm missing something here yeah, no, I did. I, I did. But that Black Lives Matter, and here it is, our people marching up and down the street in defense of that, and that was just LGBTQ and whatever else in disguise. Now, as a consequence of you dumbasses out there supporting that shit, guess what? We as a community are looked at as a mascot for that shit. Because you don't understand the forces at work against us in the background. You won't listen when people try to tell you. Because a lot of you that are in that shit, all right, are so involved in this world, you can't see what's the expression the forest for the trees. Oh boy. Anyway. And I quote, I don't think that we can take it lightly that freedom of speech is being threatened, all right? 
added Frazier, we will continue to push forward on the international level to make certain that it is clear that this isn't simply something that's happening in Florida. There are more than 22 states who are considering the same type of anti-protest legislation to abridge and to violate our First Amendment, right? First of all, haven't you gotten it yet? Hasn't it sunken in that since 9-11, this whole thing is about taking those rights that you had away, so-called rights, they were privileges more than anything, away because for this new world order which is being ushered in, in order for it to thrive, you can't have any constitutional rights. And you know it serves a lot of you right because you're so quick to say, oh, that's conspiracy theory. And you can't see the things that are happening around you. It's like, you know, the so-called conspiracy theories, they're like batting a thousand. It's like, you dumbasses, you look like, you know, <laughs> wow. It, 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 I was going to say it's sad, but it's not. It's just, it's, it's really not. Uh, it, it's going to be really funny to see a lot of you so-called educated people in the world, that is, that are so sure that everything's going to bounce back to so-called normal. I want to see the look on their faces when what's about to happen happens and you're left out there, you know, like with your pants down around your ankles because you got caught by surprise because you wouldn't listen. Continuing on, it says a top priority for the Florida legislature, and the, oh, especially, oh, let me say this, you women. Oh, boy. Isaiah 32, all day, every day. Because if you haven't noticed, he's taken a lot of these programs that propped you up and set you against your man. All right? You on that bandwagon with, with Becky and whatever other name you want to use for so-called white girl, and what? Condemning the so-called black man. Yeah. And now, a few of you have even made videos on various social media platforms saying that you get it now and you want to apologize. You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You know, you jumped on that feminist bandwagon. And that was all Becky and her man. That was the issue she had with her. We, what the fuck we do to you? <laughs> but anyway, hey, like I said, Isaiah 32, all day, every day. In fact, let's get that real quick before I move on. I'm going to address that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Isaiah 32. I'm going to start at the top. All right. And in fact, because I don't have the... Uh, let's go to eSword. All right. It says, a king will reign in righteousness. That's the heading. It says, behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. This is when the Lord comes back. And a man, and that in specific is an Israelite man, shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. And that is coming. All right. And all that confusion and uh, everything going to to shit uh, you're going to want some stability like I said that's an Israelite man not just any man it says as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land 
All right, we're going to find out. And then we skip down. Well, I'll continue. Verse 3, in the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. What? This is where we tell you you need to get all this in your brain housing group. You know, this is this is wisdom. You know, we use uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know. In fact, let me get that real quick. All right, this is what we're telling you. Uh, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Most High Yahweh is his treasure. That's the problem with a lot of you right there in and of itself. You don't fear the Most High because that image that you're worshiping in these Christian churches, that image, and what I mean by image, not necessarily the, the picture, although that is off, we're talking about the things that are required of you. You have in the Christian church, come as you are and all this bullshit. No, that's not the way it is. You know, repentance is more than just, you know, doing things that make you feel good. Think, no, you got to live by the law, statutes, commandments. And that Christian church doesn't teach you that. All right, you got to get yourself right first. Not just come as you are and then stay as you are because that's the Christian church. Verse 4, it says, The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. All right? Because you're going to have a lot of people that you wouldn't ordinarily think. You know, people look at us, they don't, uh, you know, because we don't have, we're not out there in $3,000 suits, and, you know, however <laughs> much the shoes that these preachers cost, you know, driving all these expensive cars, got all these degrees, and what I still have yet to figure out because how can you call yourself studying the Most High and what you're studying has nothing to do with, you know, it's how can you quantify an entity that made everything and think you're going to study it's crazy the arrogance of these Edomites the so called white people verse 5 and this is who we're talking about the vile person shall be no more called liberal nor the churl said to be bountiful alright uh, let's see how did I have this set up Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Foolish. All right, stupid, wicked. This is who we're talking about, Nabal. All right, and if, if you're you familiar with that word, you remember back in, that was a... Uh, an individual's name that was in conflict with King David. King David and his wife was Abigail. All right, and she would later become David's <laughs> because that became uh, words synonymous with being stupid, and he was when you read that story. All right, a fool. All right, a vile person. That's what it's talking about. These are the people, these so-called elites, that are behind the scenes. All right. Uh, shall be no more called liberal, as they say. Let's see if that word for liberal is properly, voluntary, that is, generous. And this is often sometimes when I would bring up the fact that you have a two-party system here in the U.S. And they each have an approach as to how to handle Jake. All right? You have the Republicans. They let you know pretty much up front, I don't like you, nigger. I'm going to do everything to fuck you up. All right? Then you have the opposites. You have those that are call themselves liberals these are the ones that are more dangerous in that in that their strategy is to give you all the rope you need in order to hang yourself alright this is the way Amalek works he gets all up close to you you know shoulder to shoulder shoulder to shoulder 
you know, acting like he's your friend. All right. But he's not. It says generous. Magnanimous. All right. Free. Willing. Hearted. And that's the way they are. But they, again, are the most... All you have to do is look at the music industry, which is run by who? There you go. That's my prime example of that. All right? These are the ones that set all the rules, all the, uh, all the laws, these policies that you like. Damn, that's some weird shit. Well, it's all set against us. All right? That's where it comes from. Your elected officials are just pawns. That's all. All right. Uh, five again says the vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Let's look at churl. Niggardly. All right. You have these people, these elites, some of which, in the case of the Ro uh, Rothschilds as a whole, they're worth trillions of dollars. They could put a stop to all this hunger and all this other bullshit by tomorrow. But no, they're at a point where they think of themselves as gods. You know, we often bring out Second Thessalonians second chapter, and that's the phase that we're in now, and that they're being revealed for who they really are. These motherfuckers get off on seeing people suffer. All right. Verse six, it says, for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity. Revelation 12 chapter. Verse 10, where it talks about, uh, well, let's get it real quick. Because this is who it's talking about. Verse 10 says, and I, whoops, it says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And this is what he does. All right, he'll set these obstacles, these pitfalls, these stumbling blocks in front of Jake. And then he goes and complains Look, these are your people. This is what they're doing. And more to the point, I should have got this beforehand. Let's go to, uh, whoops, wrong one. Let's go to uh, Psalms 50. Should have went here first. Because you remember this devil went, since the Renaissance, he's gone all over the world saying, if there is a most high and heavenly host, they all look like him, right? He said uh, he was an observer of our laws, statutes and commands. He used it as a weapon, as a tool to subjugate our people, even to this day. This is Psalms 15 and 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? That's the question being asked. 17, seeing thou hatest instruction, and that's the thing you will recognize about these Edomites all throughout their history. All right, read Job 30th chapter. Read Genesis 3rd chapter. Read, uh, and on. These are the same that said, lineage. You're following the lineage of the Lord and his people. You also have to follow the lineage, Salaki, of the wicked one. Alright? To understand what's going on here. It says 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. Alright? And I'll continue on. 18, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. 19, thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. What did I say earlier on about Psalms 43rd chapter? I mean, uh, yeah, 43 and 1. About that 
ungodly nation. This is the nation we're talking about. That unjust and deceitful man. This is who we're talking about. The nation of Edom, so-called white people. They rule the world. All right. This spirit that's in the world is of them. All right. This perverse spirit it talks about in uh, Isaiah 19 and 14. 19, thou givest thy mouth to deceit, and thy tongue frameth deceit. 20, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, which is Jake. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. 21, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Why? Not only because the Most High is long-suffering, all right, but he allowed him to build all this up tells you in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because sentence wait a minute, hold on and this is why this devil thinks he's got well, I'll use something else here because I'm going to come back to that hold on uh, let's see let's see uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Now that also goes into Psalm 73, uh, Job 20. All right. He really thinks because nothing has been done that the Most High is with him. Also, um, um, Hebrews 12 and 6 on down through uh, 9. All right. It says, because sentence against an evil work, I'll rock five and four on down. Uh, evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Twelve, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. Thirteen, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow because he feared not before the most high. See? He, he's not going to get away. All right, he thinks he is. But he's not going to get away. All right, six. For the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. The biggest hypocrite on the face of the earth it's a so-called white man. And everybody sees that. And everybody's trying to distance himself. Number one, they want to, well, it looked like anyway, to get out of that, uh, to get away from the petrol dollar, the American dollar, all right? But it really doesn't matter because that the New World Order, a big part of that is the monetary system it has to be changed to digital. That's how he's going to be able to exercise control according to Revelation 13 and 16 and 17. You're not going to be able to make a move. All right, when everything goes digital, you're not going to be able to make a move without him knowing where that money went. And also, he can cut it off at the flip of a switch or the push of a button. That's what's coming. Anyway, it says to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. This is what's coming, people. Seven, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices. Isn't that just what I said? A wicked device to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaketh right. Isn't that what I'm reading to you? They went to complain in Geneva, Switzerland about what's going on down there in Florida with how this thing is written up. It's really giving them license to kill. That's how the protesters are being painted. All right, as thugs. Come on, you've heard it all in the newscast. Look at these thugs. And that's just a substitute for nigger.
He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Eight, but the liberal devises liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. And this is my point about these women. And the heading says it all. Complacent women warned of disaster because they have been complacent. All right. They were the first ones, you know, I told them they jumped on that feminist bandwagon. We don't need no man. Fuck you. Not realizing all this is set up. Or if they did, they didn't care. Verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. What's that vintage? Uh oh, what's that vintage? Let's see there. Strong's H1210. Clip, that is, the great crop. So all these things that supported you that he set up, these programs, all that, mm, that's going to fail. The gathering shall not come. 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. 12. They shall lament for the teats. These are the things that nourished you. All right. For the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. 13. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars. Yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. You got to remember also that in Revelation 12, that part I alluded to, it goes into talking about earlier on in that chapter. It talks about how we were fed for a time, all right? But that time is coming to an end, all right? 14, because the palaces shall be forsaken, the multitude of the city shall be left, the forts and towers shall be for dens forever, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks, see? All right, this place is going to be desolate, all right? These devils knew what they were doing. Now they're in kind of, uh, you know, a mode to where they're trying to save it, but they're realizing that, hey, it's going to slip. In other words, they're trying to, they're going to try to manage and control chaos. And that ain't going to happen. All right. The law which DeSantis said would help protect Floridians from mob violence, quote unquote, Increased penalties for blocking traffic and allow drivers to possibly escape culpability from harming protesters with their vehicles. In other words, if they feel that they're threatened, they can just mow down protesters. And that happened a couple of times. It says several parties, including Dream Defenders and Fraser's Northside Coalition, immediately sued the Republican governor. In September 2021, a federal judge temporarily blocked a portion of the law due to its vagueness to the point of unconstitutionality. HB1, as you know, we have felt is ambiguous and of course nebulous. It is racially discriminatory. It targets black community leaders and advocates and black led organizations. In July, amid the ongoing legal battle over HB1, three Florida based organizations, the Black Collective, Dream Defenders, and Community Justice Project submitted a report to CERD, a report listed various violations of the International Convention on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, a treaty ratified by more than 180 countries. HB1 specifically violated articles, Article 2's ban on race-based discrimination, Article 5's guarantee that all groups have a right to peaceful assembly, and Article 3's. Now, you notice the wording there, and if you remember, if you don't, it's okay, go back and look at some of the videos, especially what happened here in D.C. And uh, let me see. I'm trying to think of another city where it was plain. They would have. All of a sudden you would see pallets of bricks staged where there was a protest. And then on several occasions you had these instigators that were caught on camera trying to pay people to do certain shit. This is how this devil gets down. 
Don't believe me? Please check. That's what I want you to do. They were trying to set motherfuckers up. And there were complaints specifically here in D.C. I remember because you had people coming in from the suburbs spray painting shit. It wasn't a Jake that was here. It was motherfuckers coming in from outside. All right. And you had our people, no, we're no, we not doing that. Why are you doing that? Because we always get the blame. And that's what this is going into. All right, so they're trying to be slick. Um, this bill in Florida is coming in response to so-called black people standing up in the summer of 2020 and afterwards for the rights and uh, just being murdered in the streets. A government within the United States is trying to silence them. That is a world issue. All right. And you can pretty much, because for the time, well, I'll finish it. I thought I had a lot more. He says, in addition to submitting a report to CERD, the activists met with members during private sessions with the hope that their calls would be brought up at the UN forum where U.S. delegates will have an opportunity to respond. Frazier, whose national profile increased following his arrest over subsequently dropped trespassing charge, at a DeSantis press conference, retweeted a video from one of his meetings. At a time when millions flooded the streets in protest against systemic racism and police violence, my home state of Florida chose to ignore the human rights obligations we hold under serve. All right, and it has done this through passing a law that effectively criminalizes our right as black people to protest. The activist hope is that when CERD issues its report following the close of the current session, on August 30th, which is, damn, uh, like a uh, week and a half or so. It says um, HB1 will be one of the many issues that the U.S. must address. It's a dangerous time for so-called African Americans, particularly those living in the state of Florida. All right. Got a point. But this is how this devil rolls. All right. That's why for those of you that are under the impression that things are going to get better, we just have to get more education. You're fucking, you're just stupid. All right. Uh, I'm going to stay as far from you as I can. So, once again, this has been from the Miami Herald. It's a dangerous time for African Americans. Florida activists talk to the UN. All right. But again, these things are not going to save us. You remember Malcolm X was going to try this. These things, you know, remember that we're under the curses and one of the curses. All right. No one's going to redeem us. That's the very last one. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. No one, it says by, but by means in that context, redeem. No one's going to save us except when the Lord comes back. That's it. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. Demo Vesey couldn't do it. Uh, Nat Turner couldn't do it. MLK couldn't do it. Malcolm X couldn't do it. No one can do it. That should let you know something there. But <laughs> a lot of our people subscribe to that humanism bullshit, you know. Hey, so with that, I hope uh, whoever views this is edified, of course. Uh, hey, this is the time to get yourself right. Uh, get into these scriptures. Repent, first and foremost, pray. All right? Because it all starts there. You have to repent. All right, hey, so with that, hey, shalom. Mm -hmm.